It's Hispanic Heritage Month, and tonight we're taking a look at the community's economic impact. Our Annalisa Burgos reports. Hispanics make up about 11% of the Hawaii population. That's about 160,000 residents. It's the fastest growing ethnic group, according to the 2022 U.S. Census Community Survey. You hero researchers at UH Manoa estimate that by 2040, Hispanics will make up about 15% of the local population. So but over the past decade, you know, thousands of Latin American migrants are, have arrived to Hawaii, many to work in the service industry, of course, but also in construction projects, especially in Maui and the Big Island. So you see like big, bigger populations of Hispanics actually uh, in, in those areas. Uh, there is also a large share of Hispanics in the military. So about one in five active service members are Hispanics. We also see them in more professional areas, such as lawyers, managers, you know, professional services. Um, e even uh, we are seeing a growth in small business ownership. One of the challenges advocates say is the lack of resources to meet the needs of the growing population. You know, we have over 100 Mexican families or about 500 Mexicans that were impacted by the fires but they actually don't appear in the statistics of the, that, that the Department of Health revealed. It's really wrong. Uh, so this lack of, you know, advocacy uh, for Hispanic specific issues and lack of awareness of the state is, is a big problem that the, that the population is facing right now. The Hispanic Chamber of Commerce says about 700 Hispanic owned businesses generate 5,600 jobs in the market and contribute about 500 million to $1 billion to the economy. Dozens of Hispanic owned businesses took part in the first Latino Business Expo this month. The annual Hispanic Heritage Festival showcases the diversity of the community. These festivals are for our people, but it's also for other people to come and learn about us. You know, ask us some questions. Let let us give up. Let us give you our moolelo or our story of where we come from. Quenta Jr., a Latin jazz and mambo artist, will be performing today, remembering his late father, El Rey del Timbal. And this music is timeless. I encourage everybody to come on out and enjoy some great, great music. And you're gonna see a fantastic show. Learn about Afro-Cuban music. Learn about Tito Puente, Celia Cruz, Fania All-Star. For many living in the state, the Aloha spirit and Hawaiian values remind them of home.